Um, since I don't know you very well at this point, I wasn't sure just where to aim my presentation. And um, I apologize in advance if it's too basic for most of you. I'm, I'm sure that it's not going to be too complex for any of you. Um, so uh, what I will uh, present this morning is um, uh, a brief discussion of general issues as to why glucose and insulin are potentially important in the context of aging and calorie restriction. Uh, in that context, there will be some discussion of uh, the basics of carbohydrate metabolism, which may be uh, very familiar to all of you, and uh, mention of some of the deleterious consequences of hyperglycemia and hyperinsulinism. Uh, hyperinsulinism as distinguished from just hyperinsulinemia, which is a, a transient elevation in insulin levels. Hyperinsulinism, on the other hand, is a chronic uh, elevation of um, circulating insulin. Then I'll describe um, uh, our findings uh, in our project on dietary restriction and aging in rhesus monkeys um, with a brief overview of the design and methods and then some of the results uh, pertaining to insulin sensitivity and glucose tolerance and then I'll just wrap up uh, with one or two slides summarizing the data. Now, uh, the very basic um, physiology of glucose homeostasis begins with the ingestion of a meal and the uh, digestion and absorption of foodstuffs from the gut, which results in an increase in blood glucose levels, which then circulate uh, throughout the body in the blood, and the glucose is then taken up